Welcome to Legend of Wales. Today I'm going to take you through the story of the founding of Britain and the legend of one great hero who led his people to found a new homeland on the island of Britain. Their story began in ancient times. At the time, the ancient Mycenaeans ruled over Greece. The precursors to the Greeks were a warlike people. These Mycenaeans then sparked a war known throughout history as the Trojan War. They attacked Troy and sacked the city. During the destruction of Troy, several survivors left the city. Among those survivors, remnants of the royal houses of Troy. Among them was Aeneas. Aeneas had been a great warrior during the war and cousin to Hector. Aeneas carried his father on his back as he fled Troy and led the survivors into exile as they traveled into foreign lands. Eventually, the Trojans in exile under Aeneas settled on the Italian peninsula. Aeneas and his son Ascanius founded a new city. This was not far from where Rome would eventually be founded. It seems likely that under Ascanius, the Trojans formed an alliance with the local Latins. He married a local Latin chieftain's daughter. Interestingly, later legends of Romulus and Remus, it is said that Romulus and Remus may have been descended from the Trojan royal line. It is the son of Ascinius that would become known in legend as the founder of Britain. This man was Brutus. It is told that Ascinius asked a sorcerer what the future would hold for his son. It was so told that Brutus would kill both his parents. Enraged, Ascinius killed the sorcerer as Brutus was born. His mother died in childbirth. Later, it is said that Brutus accidentally killed his own father on a hunting trip with an arrow. For this, Brutus was expelled and exiled from Italy. Brutus, in exile, then fled Italy and went to gather up followers. The Trojan people had been shattered in exile across foreign lands. They had no homeland. Brutus went to gather up his people after traveling to Greece and freeing a large number of Trojan slaves. It is said that Brutus made a deal marrying the Greek king's daughter after winning several battles, getting enough ships and supplies to leave Greece. Along the way, Brutus discovers a deserted island. Exploring the island, he has a vision from a goddess, showing him his future homeland. Along the way, Brutus encounters a great hero, Corneas, and his band of loyal Trojans. They join forces and together they sail to Gaul in modern day France. During the next few years, the Trojans were said to have landed in northern Iberia, modern day Spain, and they founded a small settlement. From there, they built a great tower. Once the tower was built, they climbed to the top and looked out to the horizon, and they could see the land that would be their homeland. They then boarded their ships and sailed. Along the way, Brutus and his people landed in Gaul. Once in Gaul, Corneas, Brutus's great warrior, went to hunt with his warriors. Unfortunately, this leads to a war with the local king of the Gauls. This war leads to many casualties on both sides, Brutus even losing his own nephew, Tauranus. Where they buried Tauranus, they would found a new city, Tours. Realizing that the Gauls had greater advantage, Brutus decided to leave Gaul and lead his people to their prophesied homeland. Upon reaching the misty shores of Albion, the Trojans land in Totnes in modern day Devon, and there they founded a settlement. There is a legend that Brutus, as he stood on the shores of Britain, his words were, Here I stand, and here I rest, and this town shall be called Totnes. Brutus and his people found that Britain was a fertile land with much food and resources. Unfortunately for the Trojans, they found the island was inhabited by a race of savage giants with red hair. The giants attacked the Trojans, and during this battle, most of the giants are slain, except for one which is taken prisoner. This prisoner was known as Gomagot, the leader of the giants. Gomagot then challenges Corneas to a fight. During the fight, Corneas has one of his ribs broken, and in a rage, he throws the giant off a cliff to his death. Now in charge, the Trojans begin settling the rest of the island. Corneas is given Cornwall, named after himself. Brutus then names the whole island after himself. Britain. Britain is then divided into three kingdoms, to be ruled by Brutus's three sons. To Albanactus, he gives the land of Scotland. To Camber, he gives Wales. And to Locrinus, England. Brutus then moves to found a new city. He calls this city Troia Nova, or New Troy. In time, the name would evolve to Trinovantum. We now call this city London. Brutus's children would go on to rule Britain. The Bronze Age world was ruled on trade of bronze, copper and tin. Britain was plentiful in these supplies and Later, the Romans would eventually conquer huge parts of Europe in their unstoppable war machine to fight the descendants of the Trojans. It would be many years of occupation before the Trojans would be free again. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, please like and subscribe.